So in this video, I want to talk about the series known as I Am Actually The Strongest, which of course came out July of 2023. This is based on a light novel and currently, as of this video, it is on Crunchyroll, subbed and English dubbed as well. Now this is a series that's done by an actual news studio that's only been around recently. They did a couple of projects back in 2022, which one of them was in fact Vermin in Gold. So this studio is known as Staple Entertainment, and they've only worked on three projects so far, with a fourth coming out January of 2024. So they are quite new, and so we don't really have much of a track record to work with as far as knowing would they be willing to do multiple seasons for a project, or would another studio would be wanting to do that. So we can't really put anything on the table as far as information we just it's a new studio it's up in the air now as far as the source material goes the first light novel came out in japan back in 2019 first volume came out in english back in january of 2023 so early this year and we currently have six volumes so the latest volume in japan came out in july of 2023 Currently there is no release date for the 6th volume in English, but there is a release date for the 5th one for March of 2024. So if you do want the light novels in English, you do have that option to purchase them. There is also a manga as well. The manga is currently still releasing volumes by volumes. The latest one came out in December of 2023 that's volume 11 and of course there is digitals and some prints for the English as well for those that are curious. The other thing though too is about source material is that it is recommended that you start at volume 3 if you want to basically watch the anime and then go from the light novels onwards so you start at volume 3. It does say though that there is a lot of shuffling around events so probably a good idea maybe to read from volume one regardless it's always kind of the go-to recommendation of if you're going from an anime to a light novel probably best to start from volume one and go from there to get all the context all the story all in the right order it does also say if you want to do the manga which you can pick up at chapter 36 so putting that all on the table there's not like a stupid amount of advertisement that it went into it and merchandise this is one of those series that i would bake up to just being mainly seen as a source material seller mainly doesn't mean that it couldn't get another season but i feel like if it was to get another season you might be waiting a bit of time even though yes it does say that you can go from volume three so it does indicate that there is enough material for another season i feel like it's one of those where i might it would probably be in a couple of years time before you would ever see another season and I would see it as only getting another season as a way to kind of re-promote the light novels and the manga. That's how I would see it personally. But again, you don't have to agree with me. One of those is also if you go back to one of the announcements recently, the light novel series as this got a 2.8 million copies in circulation that includes manga and digital. So... Reminder, the main source material is the light novel, the manga is based on the light novels, but there is 2.8 million copies in circulation, so that includes the digitals, the physicals for the light novels and the manga. So it is pretty popular as far as source material goes, and I could definitely see it getting a second season as a re-promotion of the source to get people more invested, but with only six volumes out currently in Japan, it's one of those where I think it could be a, a, a year or so before you'd even really consider that idea more so on the table. It's just one of those where I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't expect an announcement anytime soon. So hopefully that gets people up to date on what is going on with this series and where I stand as far as it goes. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you like the series? What were your thoughts about it? It's kind of one of those where it doesn't take itself serious. So it's you go into it and you just expect it to be silly and fun. And some of the waifus in it are pretty good, so to say. A certain red hair with nice ears and aesthetics definitely is for the eyes to enjoy. So I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video.